Quick question, y'all. Have you ever been stewing about a health problem you have and you resort to texting a group chat to get your friend's opinion? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. You are extremely unlikely to find a quality medical uh, advice inside of that group chat. But you can find it from a doctor on ZocDoc. Thousands of medical professionals on ZocDoc are there to help you. And they listen like a friend and give you expert care. The expert care that you need. Okay, so... I know all of us love to be like jumping through Google. We think Google is a doctor. We think uh, TikTok is a doctor. We think all of these things, but that is not going to work. ZocDoc is the place and the right place to go, okay? Because you can get a doctor in a rush. Let me tell you about this. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book a doctor who is patient-reviewed takes your insurance, and is available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. First of all, it's a trusted guide. There's no more Dr. Roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you get a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor that you haven't met yet. And millions of people use the free app to find and book a doctor in your neighborhood who's patient-reviewed and fits the needs fits your needs and schedules just right for you. So go to ZocDoc.com slash argue and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash argue. Argue. ZocDoc.com Slash argue. Argue. What's up, everybody? What's happening, family? And welcome back to another episode of Is, is This, this Gonna, gonna Cause, Cause an, an argument? argument? My name is Angel Tanksley, also known as Angel Akita Moore, also known as That Chick Angel. That Chick Angel Angel. Oh. And I am joined by my husband, who is just so enamored with me. He's obsessed. He's in love with me he is my husband and co-host <laughs> tell him who you are baby i'm marcus tanksley aka tank the other host of this is gonna cause an argument hey if this is your first time tuning in we greatly 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 appreciate it come on tell hey him. this is a podcast that we do every single week and we talk about pretty much anything and everything we got dang feel like it mostly evolving around family and relationships and marriage and kids and all that jazz that's what we talk but about. every now and then we venture off into some other things and the re- one of the reasons we venture off is because we got this wonderful family with us we got our immediate family we call them and that's our patreon you can be a part of that patreon they watch first of all they watching us Record this live. Yep. We sat and talked to them for about 15, 20 minutes before we started. We We're going to talk to them after the fact. And uh, you can join that Patreon. All you got to do is go to patreon.com slash that chick angel for the low, low of $5 a month. $5 Come a on month. Come on through and handle that, fam. Hey, hey. And also, we got some other wonderful people joining us for this podcast, and that is our sponsors. Yes, we have better help. Zoc, Doc, and Ritual. We'll tell you more about it. Each one of them later on in the podcast. But this is what we would like you to do when we tell you about them. If they offer a service that you've been like, you know what? I've been wanting to do something like that. We ask that you go ahead and use our code and try them out. Because Mm -hmm. when you do that, you're actually supporting the podcast. We greatly appreciate it. Outside of our Patreon, most people are listening or watching us for free. So this is a way for you to be able to support us without spending money that you didn't plan on spending anyways. Okay? Well... This year, we are really focused on pushing our podcast more into the family and marriage space. Yes. Um, so you'll be hearing some new segments. Uh, we're not going to start off with a new segment. We're going to start off with a segment that we started last year that I feel like was my husband's favorite segment. Hot Tanksley Take. Hot Tanksley Take. Hot Tanksley Take is a segment where (laughs) I toss my husband a topic and he does a rant on it. If you all are new to this, actually, if we didn't say this before, you can watch this on YouTube if you're listening to Mm -hmm. it. But we appreciate wherever the heck you are viewing or listening. Okay? We are appreciative. Well, if you are new to us, my husband, he one of his spiritual gifts is complaining. (laughs) 
<laughs> so <laughs> thankfully, take is allowing him to really work inside of that mm-hmm. gift. And even I, if it's something I, I like, I he, can complain about. Oh, it. he can really complain about it. And I don't know if I ever actually had you complain about this, but I feel like I should. I should have you. Have I ever had you do a hot tanksly take on Jay Z? Nah. Well, let's do it. I want to hear what your complaints are about All this right. man. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, either retire or not. Okay, you can't keep coming out with these albums, uh-huh. dropping these albums every fifteen years. Either you an artist or you a businessman. If you're gonna do both, do both. Don't just jump in and out when you want to. Second of all, if you have a fire song, make it long enough. If something's hitting hard, don't be making no two minute song, minute and a half. Run that bad boy for five minutes. Then you got sometimes they be making trash. All artists do because they <laughs> artists. Everybody in agree with everything they do. Every now and then they make something like, why is it still going? Uh-huh. Why is the outro still going? Cut it off. Get to the next goddamn song. Uh-huh. Next up, the hair. Okay. I'm pretty sure Jay-Z will get probably about five or six years younger, or at least he would look it if he get rid of this mop on his head. I get it. I understand it. Actually, you understand. I understand because, you know, he's like, hey, is it, this is our hair. Love it. Don't straighten it. Don't cut it. Let it grow. Let it do its thing. Some people say it's a unit. I honestly don't believe that, but some people think it's a unit. I don't. I haven't seen this dude. I haven't followed him as he's recording albums. I haven't seen how fast his hair grows, but he can let that go. Mm-hmm. Third of all, uh, not it is. I'm like on five or six. Uh, <laughs> um, when these now he this this was what's the song? God did. As much as I like me some Jay Z, mm-hmm. as much as as lyrically talented as he is, we ain't need no verse that god dang long. That boy's verse was 18 minutes. <laughs> You could have chopped that into three different songs, and it still would have been <laughs> three, four minutes apiece. Good, a uh, good, good, solid songs too. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He was spitting some things, but he had to do what he had to do. But he he, he didn't have to do that. <laughs> all right, that's all you got. That's all for? I got. That's uh, all I got. How hard was that for it you? It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that was that didn't just flow off the tongue. I was like, no, what can <laughs> that I didn't pull? Flow off the tongue. That nah. seems like he had no. To I was close. I was trying. My brain was working. <laughs> Y'all didn't know Marcus is a huge fan of Jay-Z. We actually both are. So I like to give him, while it's typically easy to give him any topic, listen, I could tell him air, and he'll be like, pollution in the air is ridiculous here in California. He'd be able to go. That's true. I mean, who don't think that? (laughs) No, but I'm saying, it could be any topic, and Marcus can usually go on and on and on for days. That was actually hard. But I was like, let me give him something that he actually really likes. That was harder than me talking positively about Drake. (laughs) No, that was hard. I was like, ooh, Jay Z. I, I, uh, I don't like his bottom teeth. Like, <laughs> like I couldn't think of nothing. <laughs> so, uh, yes, that is all for hot takes. We take. We'll be bringing that back, obviously, throughout the year for you all to hear Marcus and his gripes about everything in <laughs> life. Now, on to our new segment, which is marriage gains. This is a segment that is new to us. We've never done it before. We have been married for 15 years, 15 mm-hmm. and a half. We're hit it to number 16. Um, we've been together for um, 18 years. While we would never call ourselves marriage experts, um, we can finally say that we have enough years under our belt that we got some sense about us. Mm-hmm. And there is some advice that we have uh, that – It's beneficial, but this is not even an advice like a segment. It's more so us sharing with you all some of the gains that we've had in marriage, meaning they're kind of like milestones or things that we have saw in our marriage that have grown. So hopefully this will be a new segment that you all will love. We want to make sure that our podcast is not only entertaining, but it also has some substance to it. So you have some little nuggets that you can take with you as you go throughout life. So um, one of the biggest marriage gains that I will mention, unless you want to go first. Well, you just did your hot tanks we take, mm-hmm. so we'll let your brain recalibrate for that. Right, I, was, I was going back on hot tanks thing. Like, did I mean all of that? <laughs> <laughs> um, a marriage gain that I would say, it's actually something that I saw recent happen. Oh, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to talk about. 
I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about this one because it's been something that has been ongoing in our house. So the way our bedroom is set up, uh, a lot of our Patreon have heard about this goddamn door. The way our bedroom is set up is that you once you walk into our bedroom, you can see straight into our bathroom. There's absolutely no privacy inside of our bathroom unless you are on the toilet where there is another door. Um, or in the closet. But, or in the closet. There's a door there. But if you are in the shower, if you're in the bathtub, if you're at the sink shaving, when someone walks into our bedroom, they can see you either directly or via the reflection from a mirror. Well, my husband hated it. I didn't really care. I was just like, should nobody be in our room that I didn't invite into our room anyways? So he wanted to put up doors. I had said, oh, I'd be okay with like drapes that match like our curtains. A curtain. Yeah. And then that way it can just move off to it's the a side. Curtain. It's a, no, regardless, don't try to fancy it up. <laughs> curtains are drapes. They're the exact you know, same thing. Put it, have this cloth partition. Yeah. It's curtains. <laughs> Drape. And um, he was like, absolutely not. So he's been complaining about this. We've been in this house for about to be two years now. He's complained about it since probably the first month in. And then he's been complaining consistently since then. Since then. I absolutely did not want doors. 100% did not want doors at all. However, my husband's need for doors, I could tell, was greater than my dis- dislike of wanting to have doors. So I conceded quietly a long time ago. And what I mean by quietly and why this is a marriage game for me is that there was no, well, why we got to have doors? Like, are you sure? I really don't. When he went down the path of <laughs> going to purchase these doors and going through all the trouble, I have been a silent supporter of it. He installed them himself. I was able to give compliments on his installation, what the doors look like, even though I don't want them there. And I feel like. You can't deny good work. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hate it, hate it, hate it or love it. You can't deny if it looked good. Uh, but no, I feel like <laughs> I have um, grown a lot in that area of as far as in like, you know, sometimes you can concede, but have an attitude about conceding. You know what I'm saying? And have mm-hmm. an attitude about this is a this is oh, a yeah. disagreement that I've lost. This mm-hmm. is a, something that's not going the way that I wanted it to. Holding a grudge. Yeah, holding um, a so, grudge. So to speak, and, yeah. And um, I what I realized is that, like, while the doors, until the doors end up pissing me off because they're in my way, which I, I'm, I doubt if they'll happen because I'll keep them open as much as possible, um, I have no reason to be causing a ruckus about it. It truly was something that he honestly disliked. And I also can say this. This is another reason why, logically, I was like, it's cool. Marcus doesn't have family here. I do. I have two family members that have a key to my house that can come into our house at any time. Typically, we always know when they're coming. There's never a time where it was just like, we didn't know you were coming over here. But in their, uh, regardless of their gender, they are two women. There is nobody else in our life that can just walk into our house. So it's not as if the two people who had a key to our house is Marcus's dad and brother where it might not be so, like, off-putting if they came into the house. But there are two people that feel extremely comfortable in our space that should not and do not want to see my husband naked. You know what I'm saying? So, him. Victory. (laughs) Masterpiece. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) She's shaking her hand. I know. (laughs) Our assistant in in podcast editor, (laughs) Uh, podcast not editor, but uh, tech is Victory. My knees, girl, you ain't know I was in here closing the door with my hands on my hips. Listen, (laughs) when I saw her dad in the shower naked at my mother's house, that should have been enough for me to be like, "Yep, let's put a a safe door on (laughs) the room." But um, so with that, I even understand of like you know. While my mother doesn't always have the most, um, like, let me give you notice before I walk into a room, um, I, uh, for the most part, they, they're they both obviously very respectful of our space. But because of that, I can also understand, like, yeah, 
it would be nice to be able to have the extra security of if he's even if he's just it's not like my husband is not one a nudist so he's not walking around naked all the time but even if he's he don't want to be in his drawers in front of my family he don't want to be shirtless in front of my family he likes to be fully clothed when my family is anywhere near him anybody other than me or his children he likes to be fully clothed yeah. so giving him that extra privacy i realize it's more than it it has more validity and more weight than my need for him to be dressed i mean not be dressed than my need to not have the doors so that's a marriage gain that i've had and i feel like you've had as well is um when we concede to the other person we do it without any type of annoyance in our how we've accepted it and how we move on from there. Yeah. 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 Um before Yeah, we we view privacy different. Uh me and you. Oh yeah, Marcus like, wants to be damn yeah, near in a cage. Angel Angel's Angel and her family will sit on the toilet, eat a sandwich and talk to a family member. Why you always got to add the food part? Just talk about the privacy I'm sorry. part. All right, making eye contact as they're sitting on the toilet. I'm like no, nah, yeah. that's, is that's weird. Even. And it's, it's weird to be walking through your, your bathroom. First of all, that space being wide open, walk through where nuts out, and you can hear people's voices and how closely. It's just strange to me. Like, <laughs> like no, nah, I should be able to be able to close doors and be private. And say, that's a large room. I shouldn't have to. And I'm like. And kids be right, especially when we have guests over, the, like other people have kids. You never know where kids are going to run to. Well, that's when I lock the bedroom door if I'm in there. I shouldn't have to just lock the door. I should just be a be in my bed bathroom, door closed, and it's about I mean, to get a lock too. Listen, I was about to say that don't even matter though. If it's not, if you talk about kids running into space, a closed door don't mean nothing. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna get locked. Don't worry about it. Um. The latch. Yeah, I'd be like Marcus. Be he don't want me to even have a conversation with him with the door closed and he's in the bathroom. If the door is closed and he is on the the toilet, if I'm handling business on the throne, he don't want to leave have, me alone till I'm I'll done. I'll be like Marcus. So I was thinking, I'll yada, talk yada, to yada. you when I get out. <laughs> He'd be like Angel, and I'll be like, I just need a quick answer. Text me. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. He needs to work that no, out. Oh, y'all weird. And he can get therapy at Better Help because this podcast is sponsored by Better Help. Okay, when you're not at your best. There's a, well, when you are at your best, I should say, there's a lot of things you feel like you can do great. You be beast mode in life, beast mode in your passions, beast mode in your purpose. However, when life starts to get bogged down and you um, are trying to accomplish things, you can start to feel overwhelmed and like you're not showing up the way you want to. Well, working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you. Because when you feel empowered, you are more prepared to take on everything life throws at you. I do believe I told you all this before. I remember there was a week, and I know this sounds insignificant, but it was a for real hard time for me. There was a week where I had messed up three different appointments, whether it was I forgot to show up, or I wasn't prepared, or I was late. And I... I was so hard on myself because I knew that wasn't the best version of me. I knew that I was making um, just what seemed to be like mistakes from not being focused and from not showing up the way I wanted to. And I remember going to my therapist that week and being like, I, I'm not feeling like I'm showing up the way I want to. I'm not feeling like the best version of Angel. And after we talked, she gave me some tools, one, to help me better operate in the way that my brain works, in the way that I normally think. And from then on out, I feel like I have been killing it left and right as far as in showing up the way I want to, being prepared for meetings that are important to me, and knowing that like I'm accomplishing the things I want to accomplish the way I wanted to accomplish them. So if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, best better help is the great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief survey to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash argue, argue today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp or BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash argue. argue. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add to that? Um, yeah, in that same uh, way, it's like... Uh, I realized how much the a gain for me is accepting accepting more of how you operate mm-hmm. 
like Angel will, uh, and I still struggle with it a little bit. I can't say I've mastered it, but Angel, wherever she's working or whatever she's doing, that's just what she's going to do. Like uh, merchandise, like Mama Likes, like those purses and everything. That's I like to have things completely separate. Um, but anytime Angel's working somewhere, like she'll leave a trail of it. Like you can tell Angel was working here for the day and things will be left there. So instead of me, I just started accepting that I won't move her stuff, but I'll try to get stuff out of the way. That was me, like your laptop the other day. You was like, why is it on the floor? I set it on the floor in the back away from everything. So nothing would fall on the floor, like her hard drive or anything. And that's me accepting like, you know what? We've been fighting and arguing about this for 18 years. It's not going to change. Let me just move it out of the way so it's safe <laughs> and just accept that that that's how she's going to operate and that she don't respect me enough to want to change that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do no. not. No. Hush. No, so that's uh, just being more accepting because um, I can be I, – I know I can be anal about where things are, how they are, how neat things are organized in my own way I want them to be. Um, and realizing that she needs to be able to operate the way she can and be comfortable doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage gains. Tell us how you like this segment. If it's something that I'm you still want to struggling be struggling though. <laughs> if it's something that you want us to continue to bring back, like I said, we're introducing some new segments in 2023. So we would love you all's feedback. Okay. <laughs> Before we get to our um, topic of the day, because we are actually, we're moving. We're moving in a grooving. Um, there was something I wanted to bring up. I know you don't care about it, but that doesn't matter. We're going to talk about it because it, it deals in the relationship vein. So, you know who Lori Harvey is, correct? Yeah. Steve Harvey's daughter via marriage. She... For someone... Hold up. First of all, I seen Marjorie somewhere on a post or something recently. That chick... She is. Yeah, she's a bad. She looks like she's in her early thirties. Yes, God she's dang. ridiculous. This is this my bad. Is, Go ahead. I, when you look like this, a man will give all your children <laughs> the, his last name, even if he had no say, part. Your dog, in everything. It. Your mama getting my last name. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like Marjorie. So Lori Harvey, who for a few years with, with was with Michael B. Jordan which I think we all were like, actually, as many of the black women out there that wanted Michael B. Jordan to be theirs in their fantasy was like, well, if he's going to be with somebody, Enough. at least be with somebody as fine as Lori Harvey. You will never be yours. <laughs> you never know. Okay, no. You don't know who he if might be. you listening, he will never <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shut up. Men go through the same thing, but we know. <laughs> oh, they were together for a year. Now, Lori Harvey, many people have talked about her – stint her romantic stints uh dating future there was a, a she dated future i think there was a time where they said she was dating uh diddy um there's somebody else famous that was also somebody on her roster that i can't remember i do remember the diddy one trey songs oh wow Lori. uh <laughs> so there's been a lot of people who have i'm about to actually type it in Lori harvey's um ex-boyfriends so Lori Harvey has now snabbed another wanted, meaning many of women would line up to to be the get his sloppy seconds. Like uh, if he was the slop, they would take him in any for, for, um, form. I'm going to call him Snowfall so you'll know who I'm talking about. The lead? Yes. Snowfall. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Damson Id Idris. Um is who she's dating. So, okay, wait a minute. Here we go. Here is the name of the guys that they say that she's dated. Uh, she's also, oh, yeah. And these might not be all accurate. So this is just what people have said. She dated, uh, I don't know who Abu is. Oh, she dated Diddy's son also? Yes, that's what the I was getting daddy ready. And the, and the, I was getting yeah, ready dang. to tell you. But, again, this is what I'm saying. These might not all okay. be true. So, Justin Combs is somebody. We said Trey songs. Um, a race car. No, no, no. He is a race car driver. I do believe his name they is Lewis Hamil Hamilton. Memphis oh, DePay. Yeah. Uh, Bubba, is that his name? The black dude? A Dutch football player named Memphis DePay. Um, it's, the list goes on and on. So, <laughs> one of our Patreon members says, collect the Infinity Stones, sis. 
<laughs> Come on. Um, they say she's the same. Oh, yes, exactly. <clears throat> so what are your thoughts on her in how the league of men that she is able to, to jump from? Do you? Mm-hmm. She young, why not? It ain't no different from uh, chicks going around here dating the same low lowlifes that they be dating. That ain't that ain't in her caliber. A lot of people say she's the same as Common. Common ain't nobody ain't nobody throwing no type of shade toward Common. And he done smashed every chick that every black dude want to smash and white. I'm telling you, he went when he went from Venus to Angela Rye to Tiffany Haddish, and there are several other people. Oh. He's dating Jennifer Hudson right now. Comet is not playing. Hey, and you think these women are like, nah, Comet, you done been with too many chick. Please. Listen, there was uh there was I actually have a friend who um was getting some heat from Common and they were like, uh no, because he dated this one person I know. I said, and <laughs> and You know how many trash dudes you done dated that done dated somebody you probably know? <laughs> Come on, now, Lori Harvey. I'm like, girl, do your thing. Somebody said they thought that J Hub was with Marlon Wayans. That who? J- Jennifer Hudson. Sorry. Oh. Um. Nah, I'm like, look. Do you? I know people. Everybody gonna have something to say. Actually, I saw. I didn't know what it was referring to. Booty said something about. Uh, he would. Uh, he would definitely smash Lori Harvey, but he would never marry her. I'm like. Trust me. She would never marry you. Trust me, dude. You that wouldn't even be on the offer on the table either, probably. <laughs> you know, I, I feel bad for women. No, I don't want to say yeah, I feel J-Lo. bad for women. I mean, dude, she got married every week. Yeah. <laughs> she don't did. nobody care when ain't a dude living and be like, nah, sorry, you done been with you was with Diddy and being <laughs> athletic. They were like, and, I'll be here yeah, probably. Nah, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Jennifer Hudson. I mean, Mr. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez. Uh what's what's crazy? This is what I think is crazy. That when a woman is that beautiful, she's very conventionally beautiful. Her body is on something ridiculous. And you see that it's in the genetics because, like you said, her mother is a unicorn just aging very slowly. That we expect for these young women to waste all them looks on one dude. However, we automatically expect if a dude, either if he has money or if he got, if he's conventionally pretty, and y'all know what I mean by conventionally pretty, if he's got a body that looks great, let he got pretty teeth, if if his hair sometimes do something different, if his eyes sometimes do something different, if he got long eyelashes, we do not expect, let him have some height. If he got some height, we don't expect for him to go through life hunting for one woman. We know that he's right. going to sow his royal oats until he's finally like, I'd rather have something more consistent at least. It's, and half the time, it's this and. <laughs> I want somebody consistent and some other things can run a, running out of here. So I'm confused on why they want these gorgeous women to waste their young prime years when the coochie be working the way it's supposed to work. On one dude. I don't get it. I feel like. That is just such a double standard. And I'm so glad because I don't feel like there's been a lot of women like her, especially black women, that has been like getting their roster looking the way. She's got a, a like a starting lineup, like yeah. a solid one, I, all-star. I don't be in this type of news that often, but the only person I've heard of even close was uh, Jennifer Lopez. And like I said, wouldn't no, don't nobody care. Nah. Ain't none of them wealthy men that's far above any man that got something to say on being at that level, P. Diddy's level, or whoever else she done been with. It's like, oh, no, she done been with, they didn't turn her down. Mm-mm. You can Mm-mm. say you would, but your woman ain't got her standards. Ain't got her own <laughs> roster. <laughs> um, yeah, I say do your thing, girl. It's like I know people going to have something to say. only difference is it's in the spotlight. We all know people that's dated that's got 30 or 40 people under their belt and ain't none of them worth nothing but all the dudes do it in millionaires the, all the dudes <laughs> do theirs in the spotlight i don't know if one dude that be quiet about who especially if they look good i don't know if one dude that be quiet about who he's got as his main now he might be quiet about 
all of his side side people. Yeah. But there is no the people dude on his arm of. walking the red carpet. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like it is very much so what do you call it a status symbol to have right. somebody gorgeous that is very much so desired. That is like I'm going to show that off. And she has every right to show it off. Damson is somebody that people were like I'm going to risk it all for you. Mm-hmm. I'm a that whether it, you talking in a fake Cali accent or you giving us your British accent. Women have been like, I will be your drug mule, yeah. whatever you need me to be. Yeah, and I know it would be like some dudes out here saying, you know, oh, no, no, don't be jealous. <laughs> All right? You can say what you want. That's really what it is because it's mostly guys. It's mostly guys that be having, that be talking the most smack about Lori when she starts to date someone else because it's always, and the fact of the matter is, even if Lori wasn't like taking pictures with these dudes, mm-hmm. soon as she spotted with these folk, the the press, uh, especially the blog sites, they pick it up. Yeah. She goes to coffee with anybody. They like Lori Harvey was spotted with. And, and that's the thing is like they always looking for her. She could be walking out of the Starbucks. I see her coming and hold the door open. Who's this new guy she's dating? It's yeah. like we were going opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, the same thing with uh, Diddy. Like, but the difference is people are like, well, people talk about Diddy because he's old and the women he's dating are the age of his children. Yeah. He's dating some very, very young women. He just had a baby. Yeah, that's, uh, ugh. <laughs> he, Ain't just, that, man. he just had a baby. Maybe I have a different mindset once I get of that age, but nah. He said, no, thank you. Um, I just, I applaud her. Okay. Yeah. I applaud yeah, yeah. that Steve does not talk on it. He don't speak on it. Her, her, uh, stepfather be out here in Dubai and wherever the hell posing in his long coats yeah. with long a cigar. Cigar and a scarf for no reason. Because. He, no socks. <laughs> no, he ain't wore socks in, since 2018. Yeah. <laughs> 2008 what you talking about <laughs> <laughs> he's like i got marjorie ain't none of this this that's marjorie's daughter she's my yeah. daughter too and she out here living her life i feel like marjorie retired at the right time she hung up her coat at the right time she was like all right i can't compete with these young gals let me get this man together and yeah. he gonna take this exactly what he did she uh, she did she got him together yes she did said you want these white folks money we gonna need you to take off these zoot suits. Uh huh. Tailor your clothes. Yeah. And he he admitted. He said, "No, I'm where I'm at because she <laughs> did this." And she looked like that. I've seen her in person, and she looks like that. And I'm I'm tell you what, I feel like I am a nice looking woman. I would hate if my beauty was so like. I don't I don't know what the word is because she is so pretty that it's almost uh, ma- uh, magnetizing like you're kind of like drawn to how pretty she is. That is a lot to have to to keep together. Like the <laughs> Lori Lori her daughter, her diet is like 1200 calories. No telling what Marjorie is because she's a grown woman. So like to keep that small, you can't be out here just eating lava cakes and stuff. You got to be eating <laughs> celery and carrots. I like being very much so domestically cute, okay? <laughs> that, that is going to be my pocket every day is that you can look at me and be like, she cute. I don't need to be like, oh, my God, I would drink her bath water. I don't need. That is a pressure. <laughs> I'm glad I'm funny. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just, whoo, that is a lot. Anyways, before we move to our main topic, I want to tell you all about a a company that I am so happy that I have in the new year as I move towards all of my health goals, as well as just wanting to feel like I can make it through the day feeling great. You know who's kind of a hot mess? Literally everyone. Perfection is an illusion, so give it up already. And this is coming from a vitamin and supplement company. Ritual knows it's basically impossible to get all the nutrients you need in your from your diet 100% of the time. So they made a multivitamin that helps you focus on what's important, like filling key nutrient gaps to support foundational health. Ritual 
and essential for women's 18 plus is the vitamin for you. Um, as you all know, Marcus and I actually know a lot about vitamins and there are some things about ritual that make them the vitamin of choice for me. One is that delayed release capsule. I be trying to tell y'all about this. Y'all be wanting this um, instant gratification, but it ain't doing nothing. The delayed release capsule allows the vitamin to get where it's supposed to be so that you can absorb the nutrients that are in the capsule. And this is what's the other part that's like fire is that they ain't using no GMOs. It's kind of like when you drive in a car, right? And you go and you put some premium gas in it, okay? The car going to act right, right, because it's like, ooh, thank you, sis. This is really clean. It's really good. Now, a lot of these vitamin companies, you going and filling up your car and you pouring Kool-Aid in it, okay? The car going to break down. <laughs> it's not helping the car, actually. You, It's a waste. Ritual is that premium gas that you can put in your body, and your body actually knows what you're putting in it, and so it knows how to use it. Um, and that's why I like Ritual. That's one of the reasons, and um, I think it's going to be one of the reasons that you like it as well, okay? So it's a clinically backed multivitamin for women 18 plus with high quality and traceable key ingredients in clean bioavailable forms. That's what I was talking about. And with nine key, nine key nutrients in two capsules per day, their unique beadlet and oil is even patented. I'm telling y'all give ritual a try. If you've been looking for a multivitamin, if you've been trying to figure out how you can really fill in the gaps in your diet, this is the vitamin for you. So instead of striving for perfect health, aim for supporting foundational health. Great news. Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash argue, argue to start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription to get today. Again, that's ritual.com slash argue. Argue. So, all right, let's get to our topic of the day. So... <laughs> A day of yes is the topic of the day. Um, so as you all know or don't know, we have four children, four boys, Kai, Sai, Marcus, and Amar. And they probably hear no from us more than yes. God bless you, babe. And um, most of our no's are coming from either a place of being too tired to tell them yes or because their idea is dumb. <laughs> or <laughs> it's just not feasible what they're asking for. However, for our main topic, we are posing the question. Imagine or posing a scenario. Imagine a full day of saying yes to our kids. What do we think our boys would want to do during a family day of yes? Marcus, I will have you start. It, I think it depends on if they know or not that we're only saying yes. Because the day will start off routine. Basically, they're gonna get they're gonna ask for snacks all day, stuff that they don't need to eat. Mm -hmm. They're gonna want Chick fil A, pizza, or Panda Express. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or they'll probably get all three if they ask, because uh, that's what they're gonna ask for. Uh, and as far it might shock them if they ask for something. I'm trying to think of something that they ask for all the time that like they know good and well that ain't about to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. L let me tell you, the first thing we're doing once we get up is I'm making pancakes because that's what they're going to want. Yeah, they're going to want. I forgot about breakfast. Yeah, they're going to want some pancakes, chocolate chip. Chocolate chip pancakes. Kai knows that on the weekend, that is his time to be like, uh, Mom, will you fix me some eggs? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Mom, will, will you fix me some eggs and can I crack the eggs? So that's automatically happening. I'm fixing eggs and then I'm fixing chocolate chip pancakes for the twins and Amar. And, oh, well, there's really not a point to fix them for Amar because Amar is going to eat a bag it. of chips. Yeah. That's we're going to start there or either muffins from the pantry. So the lock is coming off the pantry as well. There will be no more locks on doors because Amar, for his yeses, needs to have everything accessible to him. Yeah. Little Marcus wants regular pancakes. Not only that, he wants to be able to have his regular pancakes at the dinner table with his so Actually, he wants to have it in his room. Yeah, in away his room. from us. Yes, he wants to be in his room <laughs> eating his food. The twins are going to want to eat at the table with all their electronics playing at the same time. Yes, being as loud as possible. Yes, and Amar, who the hell knows? He'll be in the pantry eating chips. He will, yeah. That's where he's going to be. That's how the day's going to start. We could have a doggy dish full of water and just uh, all the bags of chips just open. 
and he, we could just lock him in there, and he'd be fine. <laughs> he would be just. All he would need is a tablet or electronics to stare at. Oh yeah, he would be elated. From there, <laughs> we're going to Sky Zone. Okay, I don't know what type of crack cocaine they put on those trampolines. Our boys originally said the twins that they wanted to go to Top Golf for their birthday, and I thought it was a great idea because I still haven't been. So I was like, "Oh, perfect, we're gonna go." They got to go with their um mentorship group now all of a sudden when we're two months out from their birthday they've changed it to sky zone, sky zone yeah. i can believe that though there have been so many sky zone birthdays that they've been to yeah. i know i feel i know we've done a sky zone birthday for somebody i thought it was kai and Sai and little marcus i feel like we've done we have yeah we have for both of them before yeah. and they want to go back just the, the only thing you can do is sky zone is jump or <laughs> trampoline. They now have that little, uh, what's that thing? The uh, the balance beam where you can beat somebody oh, yeah, off yeah. of it. But for the most part. And you would th- Look, jumping like that on trampolines is exhausting. <laughs> and it gives them more energy. Yes. it's. I remember like, oh, when I used sleep to. Sleep all day. I remember when I used to fearlessly as a parent jump on those trampolines. Oh, uh, yeah. We both did. <laughs> that one crash land you did. But we would jump. <laughs> Remember that one I was jumping from uh, section to section in one bounce? I'm like, yeah, that's what I, I was doing. It didn't feel you. safe then. I would never. It's, I do that. truly, one, my bladder is no longer oh. set up for it. <laughs> what? I just had this conversation. What? Every conversation I have with somebody our age, everybody's talking about their ailments. Yeah. I was talking to, yeah. I was talking to Greg the other day. <laughs> he said, my boy Greg, not Goosby, but my another Greg. He said he was doing something the other day. He said, I think he said he was running and he had to stop. He said, because I just didn't feel safe running. <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm about to pull something. Let me go ahead and stop. He, now he played football, high school, college, good shape. He yeah. was like, nah, I didn't feel safe. I don't do, I, he said, I don't do nothing physical where I think I might follow him. <laughs> I used to do forward flips <laughs> on the trampolines at uh, Sky Zone. Yeah. Those days are over to they, to jump and have the ground more than four feet under your feet yeah and you ain't nothing catching you but what you jump from <laughs> no <laughs> to just shoot me back up yeah. to just shoot me back up <laughs> that's not a thing that's not a thing that's actually happening um so but sky zone would definitely well, be something I, I didn't feel safe running anyway go ahead they would want to yeah. do and oh, i think they want to do the jump the bounce park Oh yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Oh, okay, they will want to do three hours of Sky Zone, with only to be interrupted with a pizza Chick Fil A break, mm-hmm. right? Pizza, they gonna want pizza, more calories. After we finish <laughs> there, little Marcus would want to get on a plane to go to Texas to spend mm-hmm. the rest of the day with Harper, or if that was too expensive, he would give us. He would be like, either you can put me on a plane to see Harper. Oh. Or I'm going down to L.A. To see Aiden. To see Aiden. Yeah. Because he hasn't seen Aiden since his birthday. So one of the two of those is happening with him. He's going to be done with us for the day. That is his day of yes, is to only have a short part of the day with us. The second to cook. Part, that's uh, it. Yeah, that's he it. want food from us. The second part of the day after Sky Zone will be the inflatable place that the kids have been trying to go to, which is kind of more of the same of Sky Zone, yeah. jumping, running, falling. Yeah. Jumping, running, falling, and possibly the the thing where the video games are going to come into play is to be able to have the video games and tablets, iPhones or iPads in the car with internet working mm-hmm. between each space. Yeah. Um, Amar would want um, Marcus's iPad to be able to play uh, Roblox, whatever violent car game he can find on there, because he was shooting something up yesterday. I was like, what? Is that a shooting game? I'm sure it was. <laughs> Little Marcus said, I don't know what he's on. It took his iPad. And Mara got so mad at him. Um, so that would definitely be at least the first half of the day is jumping, pancakes, chips, and mm. going to see a friend and not being with us. Yeah, that's Marcus. Uh the twins, they will want they want McKinley. Mm-hmm. 
McKinley's yeah. going to have to be somewhere close. <laughs> they want McKinley have to be a trip. and some of their little Asian guy friends, Asian and Latino guy friends from their school mm-hmm. in Harlem. Oh, I was going to say Harlem. That's Kai's, that's Kai's um, boo. Yeah, he said, it was in the car. He said, oh, yeah, so I got Harlan's phone number. I'm like... Kyle, what you mean you got Harlan's phone number? Harlem. Harlem. Harlem's phone number. When I say Harlan? Yeah. Harlem's phone number. He was like, I was like, what's it? Does it go to a cell phone? He was like, no, no, I think it goes to her tablet. I said, well, don't you call her on that number <laughs> until me or your mom talks to her mom. Did you talk okay. to her mom? I ain't seen her. Oh, I saw her the other day. I didn't know I this. You just tell, tell no, me. I forgot to tell you. Um, this was, I think, Thursday morning. This? I, I don't know. But I'm like, don't do not call her. <laughs> I said on whatever apparatus it's supposed to be on. Oh yeah. I said, How, what you mean you got? It was already. I was already thrown off when she gave him the, the road, the roadblocks, whatever. However they get it, because oh yeah, she was writing something down. Then she ran over and gave the paper. I was like, what? What was oh, that? Oh, Harlem definitely <laughs> feeling Kai too. That that's for sure. Harlem little black girl. He definitely, yeah. she definitely feeling Kai too. But Kai's like, mm, yeah, 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 I like her. And whatever, like, yeah, so whatever little Asian uh, guys, and there's an Asian girl that uh, Sai thinks is uh, cute, very bold about it. He was like, yeah, I think she's cute. I was like, what the, what? <laughs> they coming over, Charlie's coming oh, over. Yeah, Charlie. Harla, McKinley, Raya, and uh, Aria. Aria, yeah. They all coming over to be loud in our house. But they're going to be loud all on their iPads playing yes. the same game with each other instead of actually interacting. But yeah, they don't want to be by each other in the house. They all want to be spread out yelling at each other through the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to be, Kai, what was that, Kai? Kai, uh, did you see that thing? Yeah, you no, like- they're communicating on the sp- the through the game. But they're yelling. Oh, yeah, they're yelling. As if. <laughs> you better not shoot me. Did you, oh, you just shot. Why did you shoot me? Uh, that's, that's, that, that's definitely. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, they would possibly, once their eyes start burning too hard or they start getting headaches from the blue lights from their screens, they would possibly then want to see um, one of the new movies that are out that they keep asking me about, uh, whether it be, um, what's that movie? Puss in Boots. There's a new, I think, Spider-Man movie coming out. One of those movies is what they're yeah. going to want to see. Yeah. There, if, if the weather does not permit, they're going to want to go outside and ride bikes. If it doesn't permit. If it doesn't. They only, wanna, they only ask to go ride their bikes is if it's dark. Or if the weather is not permitting. Okay, so every single time. Hopefully, there's a. I'm like, why don't y'all do this on nice days? Because I'd be like, yeah, let's go ride some bike. Nah. I'm surprised you don't want to ride a bike in the rain with them. That seems like you can't something. stop. Not on there. Your brakes don't work on them kind of bikes. I would. I'm surprised that you care. That you ain't like good. No, we got too many hills. Oh well, no, I'm just saying in the the cold oh. not down the hill. Of course they'll die. Um, that and then sigh right before he gets tired. Would be like, can we go to Disney World? <laughs> would be, he would ask me for something so impossible to achieve. He'll be like, Well, you said today's a day of yes, so are we going to Disney World or not? That would definitely be. Somebody said, What's the adults' uh, day of yes? Sex and food for me. Easy. <laughs> Wait a that minute, was a what short is, episode. What, what, Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What food? Am I cooking the food, or you just order? We just ordering the food. Oh, we just ordering. You ain't got to cook. You're gonna be way too tired to cook. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, my day of yes would be. See, I'm not gonna waste my day of yes on something that I'll get a yes regardless. So, oh, well, I won't. So, <laughs> mine's going to be. <laughs> mine's going to be, we watching some reality TV shows. Oh, yeah. TV can be mixed in between breaks. And uh, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have a masseuse come, give us a massage. You're massaging me. 
No, no, the, I, don't be, I don't be like masseuses. I know you don't. We're going to install a toilet to sit across from the other toilet, and we're going to use the bathroom together. <laughs> you know every- what's weird is that bathroom <laughs> is actually capable of it if you take uh, the no. door off. Our bathroom, the, where the toilet is, is narrow but extremely long. <laughs> I'm like, what is this way? It feel like they could have you. I could have got more bathroom counter, yeah. sink counter or something. Oh yeah, they could have been. It could have been better used. Uh, they were like, no. <laughs> so I'm gonna put another toilet in there, and every time you go to the restroom, we're going together. We're talking. We're having a full blown conversation. We're not. Every, this is my day of yes. Oh, okay. I'm good, anything that you would say no to normally, but I won't have to use the bathroom. So. Then <laughs> yeah, you will, because I'm gonna make sure I feed you <laughs> something that loosens it off. <laughs> Mark is going to be trying to fight it all day. I'll be like, let it go. 1201. Go <laughs> <laughs> in that bathroom. We got to replace the plumbing, boy. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to have a conversation with me on the door. Or either I'll be like, when I have to go, you still got to just sit in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, hmm, ain't some prunes. Come on, babe. Let's chalk it out. No, ain't here. <laughs> um, so, and then the, I guess the last, Okay, so the last part. First of all, I forgot about this with the Mar. I would be carrying him for majority of the oh, day. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't get put down. Um, So I'm going to have scoliosis by the end of the day of some <laughs> sort. Because even <clears throat> on the trampoline, potentially, I will be holding him while we are jumping. But at the very end of the day. Um, no, he would, he would, if he knew what it was, he would want to get surgically bound to you. <laughs> oh yeah he will be like let's become uh <laughs> Siamese the, twins. yeah Siamese twi- conjoined twins yeah. let's become that um he would definitely ask for that he obviously would be sleeping in the bed with us in the at the end of the day mm-hmm. Kai would um want to Kai us- would want a cup of syrup I'm sure <laughs> you say a cup of syrup any condiment Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We Ketchup. have to limit. We have to limit his use because he will have more condiment than food. First of all, Kai would just ask if he could have the Nutella with a spoon. Yeah. No, let's not interrupt it with bread. Right. But with like he had. I'm mad. I got to use a spoon. He had take it to the vein. He had waffles and Nutella today for breakfast, and I wasn't even mad at him. I said, you know what? If this is Waffle what you want. Nutella. It, yeah. I'm sure it tastes great. Yeah, it's a crepe. Yeah, so it is. <laughs> That's what he would definitely be done had. They would possibly. Uh, I'm trying to think if they would ask for uh, sushi. My kids have a little bit of a bougie. Um, like we had sushi last night, and they tore that sushi up. Yeah, they did. But yeah, no, it would be mostly video games in Sky bad Zone, food. and yeah, and bad food and bad food. Kai would want us to believe that he was awake while he was falling asleep and to just let him be there. Just let him live right there in his sleep. And uh, Sai would probably just stay up until four with Amar and Dale. Yeah. And, yeah. Our kids are pretty simple. I don't know when we would get Marcus back. That's the thing. <laughs> he would be when, like. When the day is over. He'd be like, at, no, I don't want to see y'all until 12 midnight. Don't come to get me. Don't come asking for yeah. me. I am good. No, I, not that I want to see y'all. I'm not leaving where I'm at until 12 midnight. Yeah. <laughs> he would ask for me to load up that green card, the green light card. Mm-hmm. Load it up because he's buying Robux. Or software. Yeah. He's going to be doing animation. And that's cost money for him to do animation. But, yeah, he would disappear from us pretty much. My like, boy, say animation software to me one more time. <laughs> That's what he's doing. <laughs> don't be mad. No, he know that we don't know 100% know what that means. So <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no telling what he's actually about. Like, what is this animation software? It's a different animation software. Uh-huh. Yeah, just, just, he Let me tell, see it. Yeah, just tell him it's animation software. They, uh, they won't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> he said it there in the truck. I was just like. You know, good and god dang well. He's like, I was buying another animation software. I was like, okay. And what did you get on Roblox? He's like, yeah, I just I had to get eight hundred dollars, eight hundred Robux. And I went, like, what you buying with these Robux? More software. Hookers? What is this? Oh, Robot, ro- ro- hookers. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Yeah, I always go for the worst. And he's like, you're an idiot. In his mind, he didn't say it out loud because I'll knock out his teeth. 
All right. Well, that would be our um, kids day of yes. Uh, what would your kids day of yes be? Let yeah. us know in the comments below. Are your kids more sane? Do you have a cultured child that would be like, I want to go see something on Broadway. Then I would like to get a Manny Petty. This is why. Why can't God give me a daughter? Because at least she would want to get her nails done. Oh, we definitely doing that on my day. Toes and nails getting done. You okay. get a man. I know you don't mind a good manicure, pedicure. Marcus, I just want them to massage my feet and hands. That's all I need. Mark is like, you ain't got to do nothing to my nails. Just yeah, just rub on them. Yeah, rub on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, we need. I need to get some new. My um, nails are growing out. All right, so into our next segment, which is tank our advice. This is where you can either get a question um, to us for advice or you can just ask us a random question. And for today's Tank Our Advice, we have Fort Walker Snow from our Patreon. And she asks, what would be your advice to little Marcus when he has his first breakup with a girlfriend? Well, uh, funny, he's already had a breakup with a girlfriend, yeah. with his first and only girlfriend. And... He didn't know that he had a bro. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all still together? Yeah. He's like, yeah, we're still uh, together. He came we back like five minutes ago. Oh no, yeah, no, we not. <laughs> He's like, actually, um, he, she had sent me a text a few days ago <laughs> saying it was too much pressure for us to communicate. <laughs> Crazy and, ass kids. And so she thought it would be best that we were friends. And I said, you didn't know she sent that. He said it was too early in the morning. So I kind of so didn't, didn't read see it. it for days. He saw it. He didn't read it. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> ah! our advice, because he wasn't sad. Yeah. If he was, um, I completely <laughs> missed it. Um, he wasn't sad. Our advice to him was, you know, when you do decide to be in a um, another relationship, uh, just doing really easy brief daily check-ins to let the person know that you are thinking about them mm -hmm. because you know today's kids they don't actually a lot of times at least from what we can see our kids are still very fairly young they don't really like to talk on the phone they are very much so text mode type of people yeah. i don't know if that changes once you're in an actual relationship for real yeah, but um tone can be interpreted to be anything right through text but we say at least we told them you know, at least text and just say, hey, how you're doing? How are you doing? I was like, yeah. just, I mean, he was in a long distance yeah, relationship. I'll him. take it from the aspect of, let's say he was, you know, dating seriously. Um, I would be talking to him long before the breakup and making sure he understood the age that he's at. Mm -hmm. And this ain't meant to last. You can enjoy it. You can like this person. Y'all can, y'all can even develop a lifelong friendship. But what you have currently right now is there will be many more like it. Mm -hmm. So that breakup, that broken hearts, all that's temporary. Yeah. Everything is temporary. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's important. Um, I've seen even in, in people in college, I've seen those breakups go just horrible. People heartbroken and don't know what to do. Like, hey, look, <laughs> life's too short. <laughs> Crying on um, heart. I was like, oh. All right, I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> um, he in right now, as we've told you all many a times, Marcus is a very late, late bloomer. Yeah. The young girl that he dated, they'd known each other since they were three, and it took him forever to admit that he actually had real feelings for her. Like feelings that went went further than just friendship right and so he currently actually i Granted think the entire house knew right we knew it was just like <clears throat> no you see her as special special you just don't know how to articulate right. it but granted i think somebody else is creeping up and he doesn't realize it mm. again meaning his feelings are yeah. creeping up on this person and i was just like i just made a mental note because i knew if i like Pushed it. it. Yeah. yeah, leave it alone. Let, yeah, let yeah. it alone. Let I let it. it. I did. Let it alone. I let it alone. <laughs> he just said something that, like, Mama, Mama Bear just picked up real quick. You know, I'd asked him this question at one point in time. Um, 
you know, this is uncharted territory for us. We are parenting a teenager. We've both been teenagers, and we both can reflect on the stuff that we were doing that our parents had no idea about. We can also reflect on the stuff that we never even said to our parents that they weren't even aware of. So um, in middle school is such an awkward time, and he's about to be a huge – he's about to be a big high schooler, and um, that also I think is a little daunting for him. So I asked him the other day. I said, yo – Rate your life out of 10. How you feeling about your life? He's like, hmm. He said, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I said, yo, for real though? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I said, I was like, no, for real, like serious. I said, he was like, yeah, no, I, I really like my life. And I was just like, oh, thank you for telling me that. Because uh, I, I always get nervous that um, any of my kids would be to express any type of discontent that yeah. they have with their with their life, whether it be family life, school, or friendships, just because we do push an attitude of gratitude because our kids are very um, um, uh, privileged is the word. So because Marcus is now less talkative with us. Yeah, I was going to say he's a, he's a lot like me now, especially at that age, is I was just quiet. Mm-hmm. And he, I, now I see that on him. He's like, I'm like, oh, this is a quiet dude. Yeah, no, like, I, the amount of questions I probe him <laughs> with when he gets, um, when I pick him up from school, he's used to them now, so he's more giving because he knows, like, if I don't give her, she's going to continue to ask mm-hmm. questions. Um, uh, I all, I be wondering, like, I still know he's only giving me like five percent of yeah. his day he's not giving me everything so just, i only ask for five percent <laughs> oh, no, i'd be trying i'd be wanting i'd be wanting him to give me the tea he's like i don't know what the hell you're talking about but to hear that he's he seems to be honestly happy and i told him i said why well, it's good for me to know is i would hate to know find out especially if it was too late that you were really depressed or sad about something I was like, while I don't have the capability of making everything perfect in your life, if I have the ability to change a bad situation for you, a situation you don't feel comfortable with, you better know that I'm going I'm to make some stuff happen. Or at least I'm going to give you the tools to be able to get through the situation the best of your, possib- the best of your capability. So, um, yeah, long story short, the advice we gave our child after his breakup in um, – what she added in the comments was she said her son thinks that he'll never get anyone to like him. And um oh, he ain't gotta get nobody to like him. They'll like him. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I think at the end of the day, if your child knows how to be a good friend as well as has good hygiene and uh knows how to present themselves in a way mm-hmm. that like is is uh approachable and nice. Some, there's somebody for everybody. I really believe there's multiple people for everybody. There's, <laughs> there's no, it multiple. really is. You're right. There ain't multiple. just somebody. There's multiple. Yeah, like as long as they present themselves well and a good friend, a good person, people gonna come. Yeah. So I think those are the only things you should worry about. Just being a really good friend, whether it be to, you know, if, I'm assuming your son is heterosexual. Being a good friend to girls and not making it feel like the only reason why he's their friend is to hope that they one day they're going to want to date him. Yeah, that'll come later. Um, but being a good friend <laughs> and being, um, like I said, having good hygiene, not stinking. Uh, his teeth need to be brushed and stuff. Things that, like, young girls start to pick up on early before boys do. They start to notice, ooh, the back of his neck is dirty or the – collar of his shirt is just mm-hmm. brown as hell. Girls start noticing that. So having like good hygiene and stuff, somebody going to like him, trust and believe. Especially, listen, let them get 30. Then they start opening their uh, minds to everybody. They were like, I said I would never date a short man, but let me give mm-hmm. this a whirl. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, look at him. He got most of his teeth. I, I, can, I can do that. Uh, listen, uh, y'all know women. We start to open up all the <laughs> possibilities as older as we get. Okay, now I said yeah. I couldn't do this. Yeah, you got all these, all these uh, dudes in social media and in the spotlight saying all these things, but dudes' doors possibility to stay open. Right, that never was a narrowed down to anything. Maybe race. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um. Okay. Well, 
Thank you so much for submitting your question to Tank Our Advice. Um, wait a minute, who was the name again? For Walker Snow. Again, we have this segment pretty much every podcast. So if there's ever a question or something that you've just been like, I need some advice on this, please make sure you leave it. Um, Patreon specifically in the comments or in the live chat during the episode, or you can also leave it uh, in our DM on, is this going to cause an argument on Instagram? Marcus, as we close this out, tell the people where they can find Y'all you. Y'all can find me on Instagram, Marcus A. on the gram, Facebook at Marcus A. on the book, TikTok at Techno Talk. And y'all can find my beer and body butter called Man Shit. That's M A N S H Y T. You can go to manshit.com and check it out. Um, you can find me at That Chick Angel across all platforms. Also, season two of Ask On Angel is on the way. So, if you have anything that you have been wanting advice on, whether it be big or small, go ahead and submit it. If you go to the link in my bio on Instagram, you will see um, in my link tree a way to submit. And um, we have a couple more days of filming and we need a couple more questions. So please, and we can do it, uh, please submit. We can do it anonymously. Your face will never be shown on the podcast and we can also, or the show, we can also give you an alias because we had a couple people who's, y'all, when y'all see this season, listen, this been some stuff where I was like, oh, so (laughs) even if you don't have like a craziness going on in your life, but you just need advice, go on ahead Go over to my link tree in my IG. Also, Shop Mama Likes. We still got purses. We still got boxes. Uh, I think I'm not going to even say that yet. We still got purses. We still got boxes. So if you still were like, I just, I spent too much money for Christmas. I'm waiting to get my money up. Know that you can still go to ShopMamaLikes.com to get you the, um, the 2022 winter box. And I think that's it. I think I covered everything. I'm trying to remember all the things I was supposed to cover. But uh, hopefully you all are enjoying this year of Is This Going to Cause an Argument? Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. And until next time, we shall talk to you all later. Y'all have a good one, fam.